A bank has filed a $2 million lawsuit against Chris Brown, claiming that it gave the run it singer a loan to buy two Popeye's chicken fast food outlets. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown, if you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Chris Brown now needs to appear in court for another strange case, as if his dog attack lawsuit wasn't strange enough already. Furthermore, according to The Blast, the paperwork originates from a bank that allegedly provided him with a loan to buy two Popeye's chicken restaurants. In the lawsuit, City National Bank stated that the loan was given to a group of people and that it was filed in the singer's home state of California. Strangely enough, the dream appears to be involved in this as well, though it is unclear what he will be held responsible for. The lawsuit reads, as of February 17, 2023, borrower and guarantors owe $2,140,901.74 in unpaid principal and interest, and adds that the bank has been pursuing this payment since 2018. Chris Brown will likely be required to make this payment right away as this is a collection case. This is so that City National Bank may get a default judgment against the Virginia native given the circumstances of the case. Because of this, it appears that their main priority is simply getting their share of the money. However, it might be more difficult than he anticipate for him to challenge this. But none of this legal turmoil comes close to the recent artistic upheaval that the Howie Roll performer experienced. For those who don't know, Tanash recently caused a stir when she expressed sorrow over working with Chris Brown. This led him to assert that nobody could even name five of her songs, and many people defended him. Equally as many individuals supported the Kentucky vocalist and her sincerity. Recently, Tanash and Chris Brown have come to blows. This was mostly prompted by certain remarks the former made on the Zack Sang show. In essence, the singer believes that working with R. Kelly and Chris Brown was required of her by her label. She mentioned how some of those collaborations, especially the ones with Kelly, made her feel humiliated. Regarding Crispy, she believed that the label had included him in her songs in an effort to help her reach the top of the charts. We all wanted it to be like this big moment. This big single. So I feel like in RCAS mind, they were like you need the support and he was like their biggest artist huh? they had on rhythmic radio at the I was like, well, this is a pop song, so I really don't feel like we should put Chris on it like that. I don't like that. That doesn't compute to me. Subsequently, Brown clapped back and said no one can name five Tanash songs off the top of their head. The singer was recently able to be reached by TMZ, who questioned her about the entire issue. She believes that everything has been exaggerated in its entirety. I think he probably didn't actually watch the full video. She asserts that Chris Brown wouldn't feel nearly as bad if he watched the interview. I, I would talk to him if he wants to reach out. Okay. She can, however, see why he may be offended. She continued by saying that she is willing to talk to him and seek reconciliation. I, I would talk to him if he wants to reach out. She does not, however, anticipate that to occur anytime soon. It's all okay. love, you know, it's all good. Okay. Without a doubt, this saga has been a bit of a roller coaster. It's unlikely that anyone could have foreseen a conflict between Tanash and Chris Brown in 2023. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly, subscribe. See you.